All right. So this is uh, one of the questions uh, in the paper that we can use the board. So I will stop sharing. And, uh, we can uh, use the board. And if you have any questions in while, you can ask. Okay. Right. So I will uh, share the uh, screen for myself. So we have a mixture. So we have a uh, magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate. So the ratio is uh, five is to one. So we are going to heat this. So you know, carbonates of group two, they decompose. And in group one, you know, potassium and sodium carbonates, they do not decompose. So there will be a magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. And here there will be calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay. And they have given some information where uh, CO2 form occupied a volume of, so they have given this total volume was uh, 134.4 uh, decimeter at, uh, they have given at STP. So this is at standard temperature and pressure. Uh, the mass of the carbonate mixture heated. So the idea is you need to find the mass of this mixture. Okay. Uh, right. So when you have this type of question, normally they would uh, ask about the uh, what is the percentage weight of magnesium carbonate in the mixture. Or either what is the percentage of calcium carbonate in the mixture. But here they have like little bit make it uh, simple because they have this asked the mass of the mixture. That's all. Because if you know the mass of the mixture, then you can uh, eventually calculate weight of the mixture and you know uh, the molar ratios and then you can calculate the weight of magnesium carbonate and even the percentage. So there's one more step that you can go forward. But here they have this asked about the mass of the mixture. So what you can understand here is first thing what you have to do here in this type of a question, you need to balance the uh, question. Okay, so you need to balance the reaction. Um, I will provide you with some uh, questions related to this. Uh, you can just uh, try these questions uh, related to chemical calculations. I might have given to uh, some people here maybe. Uh, the idea is you need to heat it so you can have the decomposition and I don't want to balance this so there is no problem because calcium calcium three oxygen one carbon so there is no problem in balancing so first thing that you need to understand when you have one mole of this magnesium carbonate you are going to get one mole of CO2 according to the balanced chemical reaction okay and also when you have one mole of calcium carbonate, you are going to get one mole of CO2. So this is also very similar. Then think about this. If you have five moles of magnesium carbonate, you are going to get five moles of CO2. And if you have one mole of calcium carbonate, you are going to get one mole of CO2. In fact, what you have to understand from this thing is when there is a ratio of mixture containing magnesium carbonate, five is to one, here in this particular reaction, your carbon dioxide amount also will be five is to one from magnesium carbonate as well as calcium carbonate because the stoichiometry is one is to one, one is to one. But when this stoichiometry is changed, for an example, if there is two here for magnesium carbonate, let's say for an example, then you need to calculate based on the stoichiometry how much carbon dioxide that can form. For an example, if you have five, it should be two means if the uh, ratio is like 2.5, half, okay? So here this is one, so here this one. Then based on that, you have to consider about the ratio of carbon dioxide form. And based on that, you can calculate the amount of magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate present. But here in this particular equation, uh, reaction, there is no problem, right? So the first thing is that you can calculate the total number of moles of carbon dioxide. So the idea is using molar volume. So 
when you want to find the uh, number of moles using molar volume, so there is this typical uh, equation, the number of moles equal uh, volume at uh, STP over molar volume. So molar volume means volume of uh, one mole of a gas. Okay, so they have given molar volume as 22.4. You have this volume at STP 134.4. So when you divide this by six, you can see there is six moles of CO2 that is obtained. So automatically this gives you the idea those six moles should come five moles from magnesium carbonate so this will have five moles of carbon dioxide and one mole of calcium carbonate because according to the stoichiometry the ratio of carbon dioxide that is given from magnesium to calcium carbonate is should be five is to one right so you will have five moles of co2 from magnesium carbonate and five one mole of co2 from calcium carbonate so again you can back calculate so which is very similar here so there should be five moles of magnesium carbonate and one mole of calcium carbonate okay based on this ratio so calcium carbonate weight could be one into calcium carbonate molecular weight which is uh, 100 plus magnesium carbonate is uh, 84 magnesium is uh, 24 then uh, Carbon is uh, 12 and 48. Yeah, it is 84 times. There should be five moles because the stoichiometry is uh, five is to five, which means you heat five moles of magnesium carbonate, you have five moles of CO2. So you multiply this by five. So it then it will be uh, 420 plus 100. This is the mixture of the uh, magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate. So mass of the mixture is 520 grams. Okay. So this is one of the uh, question that uh, is asked based on uh, calculation. Right. So the stoichiometry is given 5 is to 1 and standard enthalpy and, and standard temperature and pressure they have given the volume and they have given the molar volume as well so you can calculate the moles and then compare so you can see calcium carbonate was one magnesium carbonate was five because this total number of moles obtained with carbon dioxide is also six so nicely five is to one no problem so it is 120 okay